Welcome folks to another Let's Play. I'm Samurai TX, and yes, this is a game made by Sega. Let's play Game Ground, made in 1989 to 1991 by um, Renovations Products Inc., released on the Sega Mega Drive. Ah oh, yes, Mega Man is finished, so I thought why not play a game on my PS3 from Sega um, Genesis Collection, or Mega Drive Collection, and um, this came into mind because this was part of my childhood, so... Um, it's been a few years since I last played it, over a decade and a half, so 15 years, but I used to play this a lot with my brother, so without further ado, let's experience game ground and let's gain some ground on these enemies. Round 1, Stage 1. So we start with three people, a woman, a guy, and another guy, and we're going to start with a guy with a gun named John, even though I just made that up. And um, you can recruit people in this game, so as you can see, I picked up um, a person, and that goes to your recruitment, so... The left is your um, amount of people you get, which um, at the moment we have three, but um, when we beat this level, it's going to be added to um, four, because um, we've um, saved someone. So yes, that's stage one over. So it goes in rounds. There's ten um, route stages in each round. So yes, we'll definitely be doing the whole of um, round one in this uh, video. And we're going to choose the new recruit, which is this robot, who looks like Boba Fett. Even though Boba Fett's pretty overrated, but he does look like a Boba Fett. And, um, well, he's got a flamethrower. Pretty awesome. A Boba Fett with a flamethrower. Oh, look how we picked up another recruit, so... We're benefiting from this. We're just going to run to the exit with, um, the, um, Boba Fett guy. And now we're going to be, um, the woman again. Why not? So that means, um, we're going to have five people... So the recruitment, um, the recruiting in this game is pretty awesome actually. Rescue someone and they become part of your team. So it's, um, it takes you a short time to die. Well, um, it takes you longer to game over, should I say. But um, the danger is if you um, lose a character, you can rescue them. Yeah, but However, the bad news is if you um, get hurt and, um, while rescuing that um, character and the character is on your um, team already and they die, that character um, that previously died is replaced, and then the one that died um, is the one you have to rescue. I hope I explained that properly, but it sounds a bit complicated, but um, yeah, you'll see what I mean um, when I die, or hopefully if I... Um, I don't want to die, but I know I'm going to die, but um, stage 3 is over, and we're gaining some ground in this game, oh yes. Stage 4. These ones are rather easy. And um, nobody's here, but there's the new um, recruit, the guy with the arrows. Pretty awesome, actually. So yeah, his projectiles are pretty damn awesome. As you can see, um, they have their perks with their um, primary weapon. The primary weapon um, is his arrow, and um, or is that a lance? It looks like a lancey arrow, and um, he can fire it anywhere. As you can see, the um, the white lights. As you can see, the white directions. It says he can fire everywhere. Um, there's some specific people that can only fire straight. Left, right, and so on and so on. As you can see, the arrow guy can fire everywhere, which is pretty awesome. So we're going to be using him quite often, because his abilities is very awesome. Stage 5. And there's a recruit there. So yeah, we're going to definitely recruit that guy. But what we're going to do is use this guy to shoot um, all the enemies around us, because, well, if you hold square, because I have rapid fire on, um, you'll fire just everywhere and um, fire in any direction you want, which is pretty awesome. So, yeah, spraying is um, annoying in this um, um, in terms of other shooting games, but you're going to need to spray when you're surrounded by everybody in this game. So, yeah, it's a good thing I'm um, currently um, spraying away. And we rescued him, so now we're going to be the woman again. <laughs> Yeah, she's had little, um, well, she's had, um, she hasn't really started a mission, but um, she finishes them, so I guess that's okay. She's awesome, but um, I rather, oh, she's dead. She is dead. Now we're going to be um, Boba Fett wannabe, or a guy who's better than Boba Fett, to be honest. Everybody's better than Boba Fett. I think I'm going to touch a few nerves there. I think Boba Fett's probably the most overrated Star Wars character ever. But um, we're not talking about Star Wars here, but that guy... Always reminds me of Boba Fett, that um, recruit. So I'm always going to call him Boba Fett lookalike. That's what I'm going to call him. Clone of Fett. That's a better name. Clone of Fett. Right, stage six. Oh, this one was pretty challenging, but there's two recruits. So what are we going to do? Um, oh, look, we recruit some of a boomerang. That's okay. We're going to use the guy with the arrows, obviously. But we're going to um, try and create a way, uh, create a way where we can um, not kill everybody, but um, try and find a way to the exit, of course, which is over there. 
But we're going to try and kill as much people as we can and then uh, recruit someone in the process. So let's kill them. There we go. Open this door. I suppose we can. Or oh, shoot someone there. Yeah, we'll kill that guy. And then um, just kill you. There's 14 enemies left, so yeah. Um, I don't think they're... Yeah, they're all on screen, actually. <laughs> now there's 13 enemies. Actually, I don't think they're all on screen. Oh, there's 11 enemies. 10. Okay, yeah, they're all on screen. Sorry um, for my misjudgment. Because some enemies do tend to spawn and um, just appear anywhere, really, in the map. So, yeah, you got to keep your eyes peeled. But, yes, um, as you can see, you can play with two players. It's awesome playing with two players. If you've never played this game before, I recommend you play it with a friend. Obviously, I'm a lonely figure, so uh, <laughs> I'm playing by myself, as you can see. And um, I'm trying to create um, some... Trying to um, kill... Oh, look, he died. That's good. Um, now we're going to try and kill this guy here. But yeah, um, as you saw in the previous video, um, you see the wi the woman was captured slash um, almost dead. And um, we just had to rescue her, which we did. So now we still got our people. So that's good. You can rescue them at least. <laughs> so let's rescue this guy. He looks like another dude with a flamethrower or something. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to use everyone and showcase them. Let's run to the exit. There we go. We're going to keep that guy inside the exit alive and to just fire with this uh, John and um, just casually um, kill him and um, recruit that guy uh, behind him. And now they're dead and we're going to wait for that arrow. There we go, it's gone. And now we're going to recruit um, this guy. No, rescue him in this case. Rescue, recruit, it doesn't really matter. We're, we're still going to steal him and um, end up putting him in our um, army so that we can gain some ground. So let's run to the exit. And goodbye. Hopefully she can... Well, we're going to use the girl with the boomerang now because, um, well, we're going to showcase her. Yes, I suppose we can showcase all the people. Let's boomerang that guy. Goodbye. Uh, mission complete. Or stage complete. So now we're moving to stage 7. Now we do get to fight bosses every um, stage, it seems. Which we will do. Right, who should we use? Look, we recruit someone. I recruit him as well in the process. Let's showcase him with the flamethrowers. Pretty awesome, he got a flamethrower. Well, if you p tap X in this case, which is the primary, he's just going to create a mini fiery explosion type um, weapon, which is pretty awesome. But I'm just going to keep um, holding square, which is just shooting three range of flamethrowers. And it's got a long range, really. See, as you can see, I got a double kill. Now let's escape. And let's demonstrate this guy. He walks pretty slow, but he's got a um, rocket in his hand, so yeah. I'm just going to demonstrate him. There we go. He just shoots rockets. Fiery flame rockets, and he shoots a pistol with the square button. But yeah, we won't be using him quite often. We won't be, to be honest, because he's quite slow. Stage 8. Oh, look, it's our first boss fight. <laughs> Who are we going to be? We're going to be this guy, because um, we're just going to shoot the enemies that appear in, um, at the bottom with us. But, um, the good news is the fact that, um, well, the bad news is he's dead. He is dead. But the good news is you can rescue him, just like we can rescue the woman. We don't want to kill our original characters, the ones we started off with. That would be terrible if we did, but what we're going to do is kill all these people around us so we can make it um, less and less. And so that we can make it easy to escape. But um, I think it's best if we shoot this um, dragon, this spinny-headed devilish dragon thing. I'm just going to call it the Evil Red Devil. Yes, we are going to murder that devil after we rescue that guy. And now we're going to use her to throw the grenades, because I think that's the best bet, to throw grenades. Or we could just run and rescue this guy, which we're going to do. We've got three enemies left, and we're just going to escape with the new recruit. Okay, that's fine. We're going to use Bob, uh, Clone Effect, and um, just use our Flamethrower. I think the Flamethrower is its weakness, so yeah, let's just burn it. Might as well just burn this um, enemy. There ain't nobody on screen, so uh, there ain't nobody to rescue, and there's um, only three enemies left. So let's kill this um, dr devil dragon thing with um, clone effect. And double kill. And mission over! There is going to be a boss fight later on, which is um, stage 10, which is the last stage. This is the penultimate stage of um, round 1. There ain't nobody to recruit, so what we're going to use... Who we're going to use... Um, we recruited him in the, in the previous mission, which is cool. Right, let's kill some people. 
Oh, you got arrows. Well, I've got my own arrow, and my arrow is more is much better than yours. See, has longer range and is better than yours. But the game gets harder and harder the more you um, get on because um, the enemies get tougher and the situations get tougher. Whether you um, want to recruit more people and whether you want to. Um, Leave them behind, it's up to you. I'm going to try my best to recruit as many people as I can, if I'm honest with you, because um, I need all the um, people I can get so I don't game over. So yeah, um, I might take too long in a mission to rescue people, but um, you, guys can bear, you guys can bear with me. I haven't played this in years, and plus I've never uh, beaten the game before. If I'm honest with you, I've never beaten the game before. I've only reached um, through halfway of um, round two and stage. Um, round stage five and six, I kept dying. I'm gaming over when I was a kid, but um, at least I'm going to see it through this time because I'm confident in that. So here's the last stage of round one, and as you can see, there's four devil heads, and then there's that big um, dragony bat thing, whatever it is. But we're going to use a um, clone effect to burn these um, um, devil dragon things because it's the quickest way to kill them. So yeah, we're going to use clone effect to kill all of them because um, this flamethrower is pretty strong. There ain't nobody to recruit at this stage, but there is um, a lot of enemies and um, people in the way. So yeah, we're gonna um, have um, some patience with these levels, because if you just rush in, you're gonna die. So um, we gotta be very, very cautious with the way we play um, in the later part of the game. Stage one's rather easy. Well, round one's rather easy, but you still got to be careful because you know I've died like twice, but uh, good thing you can rescue. Um, the people that um, died, or that are wounded, or captured. I would rather use the word captured, because they're not really dead, but they will be dead once your character dies when you try to rescue them and whatnot. Which is pretty weird. But um, it is what it is. So we're going to try not to die here, because if we die, there ain't no exit to run out of. So um, clone effect will be gone if we um, just die. So the, the, the four devil dragon things I've got now, we're going to attack the um, other... Um, Weird um, gargoyle demon thing. Oh my goodness, that could have killed us, but we went through. Um, not through, but we went in between the fire. That was crazy. But hey, um, this samurai is very crazy. So let's just wait for them to spit out the fire. We're just going to take our time. Well, we only got 200 seconds to do this, but um, we have um, 100 seconds remaining. So yes, that's the first um, round over. I like to think I did very good. I didn't lose anyone. I did um, get reckless once or twice, but so far so good. We're on um, round two, stage one, and this is where we're going to have to end the video because, well, we're doing it by rounds, or if I get stuck at a specific stage, then I'll end it. So when we come back, folks, we'll continue playing more Gain Ground, and we'll try and gain more ground in this Let's Play. But so far, it's a great start, and I'm enjoying playing this game again. Uh, so I'm looking forward to continuing it. So I shall see you guys in the next video. Samurai TX is signing out. Take care, everybody. See ya.